There are basically three options for giving yourself your daily dose of insulin. Mm -hmm. There's been quite a lot of research into giving diabetics the easiest, most convenient way of taking their daily insulin. OK, let's look at the first option. This one is worn on the body all the time. That's night and day. It's an insulin pump. How do they work? They deliver a steady flow of insulin throughout the day. They can push through both rapid and short-acting insulin, it doesn't matter which, through a catheter which is placed under the skin. I see. So you wouldn't be giving yourself a needle every time? No, you wouldn't. It's one advantage of the technology. The other upside is that it can give you an extra or bolus dose to cover those times when you eat more carbohydrate. For example, during a meal or a snack. No, you... The real advantage of this is that patients have fewer large swings in blood glucose levels. The main disadvantage is the cost. It's the most expensive option. Mm, OK. Uh, what other options are there? The second option is insulin with an insulin syringe. Insulin is drawn up from a vial into a disposable syringe. This means that the dose required can be drawn up and varying doses can be drawn up if needed. Would that be, say, if you'd eaten a little extra treat that day? <laughs> Could be. Also, one or two types of insulin can be mixed in the syringe, as long as you follow the rule, cloudy insulin before clear insulin. Right. Ooh, the markings on the side of the syringe look quite small, don't they? Hmm, the markings are difficult to see, which makes drawing up accurate doses more difficult. Mm -hmm. It's the cheapest option, but the least convenient. Right. That leads us to option three. It's called an insulin pen. This one has an insulin cartridge which fits into the device and can be changed when it's finished. There are also pre-filled devices which are disposable and easier for diabetics who have arthritis or are visually impaired. They would be much easier to use, wouldn't they? Yes, they're much easier to use and more convenient than syringes. They can even fit into your pocket and look like the real thing. You do still need a needle with this one. The needle is inserted on the end of the device and changed with each injection. I see. And I suppose you still have to store the insulin in the same way. It has to be stored in the fridge, doesn't it? Any unopened insulin can be stored in the fridge, just don't let it freeze. Once the insulin is opened, it can last up to 30 days if it's kept at a temperature of less than 30 degrees. That's easy to remember. Thanks, Nadia.